Now in this part of the question, we're given the iterative formula here. Xn plus 1 equals the natural log of Xn plus 2 and plus 1. And the first term in the sequence, x0, is equal to 2.5. And we've got to find the next three terms, x1, x2, and x3. Now there's a quick way of doing this, but before I go through the quick way, I'm just going to show you a slightly slow approach, just in case you are struggling with this concept. So to find out the next term in the sequence, x1, what I need to do is set n equal to 0. If I set n equal to 0, that will give me x1. And that would be equal to the natural log of x0, x0 plus 2, plus 1. But what is x0? x0 is 2.5, so we've got the natural log of 2.5 plus 2, which is 4.5, and then add 1. And if I work this out on the calculator over here, we'll just type in the natural log of 4.5, 4.5, close the brackets off, and add 1. And what have we got? We've got 2.504, etc. So let's just put that in there. 2.5040773 and so on. And we've got to give the answer to five decimal places. So that's going to be 2.50408. And we'll put to 5dp. To get x2, the next term, what I've got to do is now set n equal to 1. That will give me x1 add 1, x2 in other words. So x2 would be equal to the natural log of x1. Remember, because n is set at 1, x1 plus 2. But x1 is this value here. So what we've got is the natural log of this value here, x1, plus an additional 2. So that's going to be 4.5. 5040773 and so on plus the 1. So let's work that out on the calculator. I've got the number there. That's x1. We're going to add 2 to that. So we'll put plus 2. That gives us our value here. Now I just want to take the natural log of that. So we'll just do natural log of the answer and then add 1 and we have got 2.504983 and so on and again if we give this to five decimal places what we're going to have is 2.504985 to 5dp so we've got one more to go x3 and to get x3, we set n equal to 2. So that's going to be the natural log of x2 plus 2. So that's the natural log of x2. But x2 is this value here. And if I add 2 to that, I'm going to have 4.504, etc. 4.504983 and so on. And then I've got to add 1. So let's work this one out. This is x2, so I just need to add 2 to that. That gives me my answer over here. Take the natural log of it, so we've got the natural log of that answer, and then add 1. And what we have is 2.505184 and so on. So to five decimal places, that's going to be 2.50518 to 5dp. Now that's an awful lot of work to go to to do this kind of question and personally I wouldn't do this. I did say at the beginning that there's a quick way of doing this. I'll show you what it is. We'll clear the calculator screen. Now when you're doing questions like this, iterative base questions, all you need to do is type in your initial value 
of the sequence, in this case 2.5, so we'll type in 2.5, okay, press equals, and that becomes our answer. Okay, 5 divided by 2, 2.5. Now all I need to do is use that answer and type in this iterative formula. We'll start with the natural log, natural log, but instead of typing in xn, I just press answer. That remembers my last answer, which was this one here, 2.5. Add 2, close the bracket, and then plus 1. Now, by pressing equals, I get the first value here. All right? So that gives me x1. Now, this is the advantage because if I press equals again, notice what happens. It's changed and it's given me now the next answer. And if I press equals again, it's changed and I've got my final answer over here. So this is a very quick way of doing iterative formulas, which I'd strongly recommend that you learn and practice. Okay, so that brings us anyway to the end of this part of the question, and hopefully you've been able to follow that.